guys, we made it to camp, and I am gonna break down my entire backpack. This is for anywhere from five to eight days of hunting, just depending on how much food you bring, but this whole supply will be good, honestly, probably longer than eight days if you want it. So. First of all, this is a Kafaru Reckoning on a 24 inch tactical frame. This is the Sherman pocket that I put on over the Reckoning bag. Just adds extra storage and I keep essentials that I get into all the time in this bag. So, let's go over this one first. Got dude wipes, obvious reasons. In the main bag of the Sherman pocket, I've got a pair of King's Camo heavyweight gloves. I've got my water filtration system. This is an MSR squeeze. I've got a medical kit. Couple of hot hands. We've got Poseidon charger. I only have, or I have this one and a second one, so I have plenty of charge for five days, likely longer if I extend my battery and don't use my phone very much. Got charging cables for my. Zolio satellite device, charging cables for my cell phone and my camera batteries. A pair of earplugs for sleeping at night. If, if it's really windy and stormy or anything like that, sometimes it's tough to sleep at night when you're just hearing all that racket. So I like to bring earplugs for sleeping. We've got the Zolio. This is my satellite device. Up here we don't have any service whatsoever. So I bring a Zolio satellite device that I can run off my phone, be able to text people, and it has the SOS emergency that has all my information and contact. So if I need to and get in trouble, I can hit that SOS and someone's gonna be on their way. We've got a clotting sponge. This is for like heavy puncture wounds, like if you tripped and, and jabbed your side in some deadfall or something like that and just had like a really deep puncture wound. You jab this thing in there and then you wrap it up, obviously do your, do your um, medical emergency stuff, but this is a good thing to keep with you to clot and stop bleeding. I've got my Hoyt Montana Knife Company knife. I have this knife as well as a secondary knife, which is my um, Seasick Blades Whitetail Fit Edition. It's on the front of the bag, I'll show you later. Paracord. A trash bag. A trash bag has a lot of different uses. Um, if it's downpouring rain, I'll put this over my pack. Or if I just need something for a trash bag, laying meat out on a trash bag is always a good option as well to keep it clean. So I keep a trash bag with me as well. And I have this ear tag. This is um, an ear tag that I picked up on the trip that I killed that big mule deer in Nebraska just a couple weeks ago. For whatever reason, I picked up this ear tag, put it in my bag. Two days later, I killed that mule deer. So lucky ear tag. That is it for the Sherman pocket. These are like kind of my essentials that I need to get to all the time. Then on the main bag, on the side I'm gonna have my bugle tube. Trekking poles. Glassing pad. This can also double as a pillow if you need to when you're sleeping. Then on the inside of the main bag, I've got all my food for anywhere from three to five days, depending on how I ration it. I packed pretty heavy for three days. If I eat all of this in three days, these are like 5,000 calorie bags a piece. So if I spread that out and eat 
you know, 2,800 calories a day, I can get away with three full bags. I've got my King's Camo base layer. This is a zip-off bottoms base layer. That's merino wool. I've got my King's Camo rain pant as well as the King's Camo rain jacket that all my stuff is laying on right now. This is water that has been um, filtered from the pond down below. It also has an iodine tab in it. That's why it's looking kind of rusty color, but that's good to go. That's ready to drink. I usually try to cook with this stuff and use the water that I brought up for drinking, but obviously when that runs out, I'm gonna be going to all this stuff. I've got my King's Camo Elevation Quarter Zip tee. Just a lightweight t-shirt. This is what I hunt in most of the day. Got just some extra underwear. One pair of extra underwear, one pair of extra socks. I've got a beanie. This is just a real tree beanie. I've got my King's Camo Pinnacle Jacket. This is the XKG Pinnacle Jacket. This is one of my favorite jackets to just throw on, lightweight, run around, do some hunting. If you're wondering why I'm trying to like talk somewhat quietly, we're in the middle of elk country, so at any point we could have a bull roll in here and need to make a move, but we're just setting up camp. This is my King's Camo XKG Down Puffy. It packs into its own left-hand pocket, and this thing is a lifesaver. If you need warmth right away, this thing is what you want to carry with you. I've got my, I guess you would call this a dop kit or whatever, bathroom toiletries kit. I've got my, um, I have Invisaligns, so I've got my Invisaligns in here. I've got some melatonin tablets. I've got some ibuprofen, some extra ibuprofen down on the bottom. I've got floss, toothbrush, toothpaste. That just stays in this little before pullout, I believe. That pullout size is like extra small. I've got my cook stove. This is a large Kafaru pullout. I've got my fuel. I've got a titanium cookware set, and then I've got an MSR pocket rocket. This is my full cook set right here. Got a lighter in there. And then I also have, oh, I also have an extra case of storm matches. These things can be lit when they're soaking wet. So you want to have just, if, if something were to go wrong, you want to have a way to start a fire. And that is a perfect little solution for that. Then I've got my tent poles for my King's Camo XKG two-person summit tent, which we're going to be setting up here pretty soon. I've got game bags. This is for if we kill an elk, we can quarter it up, hang it up, and keep it uh, nice and clean. Got my King's Camo zero degree down sleeping bag. Love this bag, using it for years. I've got this Sleep Ingo. This is an Amazon purchase. I think they're like $40 on Amazon. This is my sleeping pad, and it is durable, robust, lightweight, and comfortable. And you can't ask for anything more for 40 bucks. This is one of the best sleeping bags or sleeping pads rather, that I've ever used. And I've used a lot of sleeping pads, the higher end stuff, and I would rather take this pad over the higher end stuff. So go check it out on Amazon. I've got a little Sea to Summit pillow. This is just an inflatable pillow. Not the most comfortable thing in the world, but it gets the job done. And I've got, I had a water bottle leak in my bag, so it's nice and wet on the outside, but I've got my King's Camo XKG Summit two-person tent. This, along with the poles, will be getting set up over here somewhere once we clear a flat spot. On the side of my belt, I've got a Nalgene bottle. So this Nalgene bottle is gonna be my day drinking water, um, along with cooking water, whatever I need it for. Always good to have a Nalgene with you. 
hanging on the inside of my bag here. I have this Kafaro pullout. And in this pullout, I've got all sorts of stuff. We're gonna dump it out right here so you can see it. I've got all my tags, licenses, ready to go for hunting. I've got a pair of just Cabela's, um, kind of like a little bit of a multi-purpose tool there. I've got a little single-use bug spray. I've got a pen to fill out tags if I need to. I've got an extra lighter. I've got also a lighter in my cookware stove and a lighter in my side pouch on my bag. So in total, I carry three lighters. Never hurts to have enough lighters. They're lightweight, easy to pack, and uh, you never know when you're gonna need one. I've got Allen wrenches to work on my bow. I've got another little multi-purpose tool that has a sharpener, a Phillips head, a uh, uh, flat head, and a carabiner. Then I have six extra batteries for my headlamp. My headlamp is a black diamond headlamp, and I'll show you once I pull that out. But that black diamond headlamp takes three batteries, three AAAs, and can run forever. So I always carry extra batteries with me. I've got a couple field points with me if I want to just do some practice up at camp and shoot into a rotten stump or something like that. I can swap my arrows out and put field points on it. I've got two extra broadheads. Um, these are just like emergency broadheads if I need them. Typically I would have them in a um, box, but they're just loose in here for whatever reason. Then I have an extra battery for my Bushnell broadhead as the rangefinder I'm using. I've got some face paint right here. I've got a knife sharpener with, it also has a diamond file. And then I've got chapstick and I have water tabs. These are those uh, potable aqua water purification tablets. So that's what's going to be in my pullout on the inside. And then in my side pouch here, I've got a pair of sunglasses. I've got my black diamond headlamp. I believe this is a 500 lumen. Then I have my head. This is um, so that I can record video if somebody isn't near me. I can throw this on my head. It's from Peak Design, and then this is a GoPro strap. And I use the Peak Design um, phone mount. And that mounts right there, and I can take 4K60 video off the top of my head. I've got all my elk calls. These are all going to be Phelps game calls, elk calls. I've got the other lighter. And that's it in there. So that in total is my pack breakdown. And then I'll show you, this is the bow that I'm using. This is a Hoyt VTM 31. I've got it cranked down all the way to 84 pounds. I'm shooting a 500 grain Easton Axis five millimeter, whitetail fit fletching and whitetail fit wraps. I've got nocturnal knocks on the back and I have Schwacker broadheads on the front. These are a Schwacker two inch. And then I think I have two Schwackers and then I have three severs. They all fly identical out of this bow, just like field points. The quiver is a tight spot quiver. This is the black gold dual track sight. I've got Hoyt bars on it. I've got the rattler grips. I've got a QAD drop away rest. I've got the GoPro on the front so that I can record my hunts. Like I say, if I don't have anybody filming me, obviously I have Ethan with me, but it's always good to get different angles. So that's my bow. Like I say, I'm shooting 84 pounds, 27 inch draw, 500 grain arrow. I'm pushing that thing through most everything. This is the Bushnell bino harness. Inside my bino harness, I've got a hinge release. This is the Honey Badger Claw three finger hinge release. And then I've got two extra elk calls. Both of them are amp diaphragms from Phelps. Then I have my Bushnell Forge 10x42s. In this type of country, all I really need is 10x42s. Yes, you can glass a long ways, but this was 
like a death hike getting up here and I did not want to carry a tripod and I did not want to carry a spotter so went with my Bushnell forges these are really high-end binos from Bushnell like top-of-the-line binos from Bushnell just a great binocular I have a wind indicator on the left hand side so I can check the wind and see what's going on then on the right hand side I have another release so I always carry two two releases with me no matter what if I lose a release up here I want to be able to shoot like not with my fingers so this is a true ball blade pro that stays on the right hand side like I say my hinge stays underneath the hood and then as touched on before this is the Bushnell broadhead rangefinder extremely accurate rangefinder very very precise with steep angles out here in the mountains obviously we have a lot of steep angles a lot of steep shots out here so what I'm currently wearing here are my Kings camo XKG Lake Gators and then I've got my Zamberlin they're a Zamberlin 700 boot I believe they're oh Zamberlin 700 GTX they're a lightweight hunting slash mountaineering boot great boot just picked them up not too long ago so I'm still breaking them in but then I have my Kings Camo XKG pants, and then I've got an XKG Kings Camo pullover hoodie that has just a nice tight fit hood that I can still shoot with if I need to. That's a big thing if you're gonna shoot with a hooded jacket. You want, you want the hood to be nice and tight to your head. And then underneath, I'm wearing, just got a bandana. I can wipe my binos with this bandana. Also keeps my neck warm. And then this is the King's Camo XKG Merino Wool Top. And then I just have a white tail fit t-shirt underneath. This is the God is Good t-shirt. I think that's it. Did I cover it all? Oh, and then I run a Garmin Phoenix 7S. So this is a solar Garmin watch that has GPS capabilities, navigation capabilities. I can drop a pin and navigate right to that pin with this watch. It also tracks all my heart rate, everything, elevation, I mean you name it, it all goes right to my phone or I can see it right on the face of the watch. And then I have my cell phone and on my cell phone I have Onyx mapping system. So I have the Onyx hunt mapping system and I always keep the tracker going on this and I always know my points and exactly where I'm at. So if anything happens, I can get to and from. Ethan, the cameraman right here, also has Onyx, and he also has his tracker running. So we have three different modes of being able to find our way back. The Garmin watch, I can walk right back to the truck with this watch. The Onyx on my phone and the Onyx on Ethan's phone. And then obviously we have the Zolio so that I can text my friends and family, girlfriend, and... Uh, just keep them up to date with where we're at. I can drop them a pin exactly where we're at and uh, obviously has the SOS emergency button. So anyway, I think I covered everything. Tried to do this in a one shot video. Just beautiful country. God's country is absolutely insane. The storms have finally let up a little bit. We were getting hailed on pretty much the whole way up here, but now we're ready to set up camp, get to hunting. What do you think, was that it? I didn't have the heart to tell you, but 18 minutes ago it stopped recording. No, it didn't. <laughs> Not really. I'm so sorry. No, you didn't. You're just kidding. Whatever. Got him. <laughs> anyway, that's my pack system. Alright. That's it. I like it. I've gotten so many comments about doing a pack dump video. And I thought, what better way to do it than right now on the mountain when we're about to set up camp. So hey, you got one thing you forgot. What's that? That piece right oh. there. Oh yeah. This this is the um, JC Kydex Customs. He does he makes these uh, bino harness holsters, and then I carry a Glock 43X. This is a nine millimeter. This is the gun that I'm going to carry. Just for personal protection, out here in Colorado, there's not a whole lot to worry about. There are black bear, there are mountain lion, and now they've introduced wolves. But none of that really bothers me a whole lot. It's more just for peace of mind when you're hiking around like this. You never know if you run into anything. Um, Ethan is carrying my Glock 20, which is a 10 millimeter. 
That is the gun I'll typically carry when I'm in grizzly country. So Montana, Idaho, anything up north, I'm gonna carry that Glock 10 millimeter, but this nine millimeter works great and is a perfect size. This is actually my concealed carry gun, so just a perfect size for hiking. But I think that's it now. Squirrel over there is giving us oh. the giving us the signal. We gotta stop. My regular hiking gloves are the King's Camo XKG midweight glove, and then I have a King's Camo just neck gaiter, and that's it. That's all my stuff. You have an extra neck gaiter? Not an extra. I just have a neck gaiter. <laughs> I guess I have the bandana. I've been asking you literally for the last five days, and that's we couldn't I'm, find one in town. We it. couldn't find one in town. I've been asking for you five days. That's just if we're stocking in on something, I can keep my face covered. I've been, give me that bandana. <laughs> but I gotta clean my binos with Get it. Get out of here. See, look at, look at I am so mad at yeah. you right now. Ooh, nice and clean. My neck, I don't have a hood and I don't have a face mask. I've been suffering this entire time. Joel's got this bag full of goodies over here and isn't sure to any of it. He's got everything he needs. He's <laughs> just <laughs> You have a bag full of goodies, too. You Listen, do your own thing, buddy. I'm not the one on trial here. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for this video. We're going to set up camp. Appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully that covered everything. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I will be answering them. It might take me a little time to get to them, but I'll, I'll make sure and answer all of them. So um, that's it. We're going to set up camp. Thanks for watching. Peace. I hate you. Um, can we start kicking this to be flat right here? I could for a neck gator.